Hello guys, this is Manny from AAR. Today I have another chance to work with this beautiful rifle, which is a crawl puncher breaker on a 22 caliber. In the past, I had this rifle, but in the Synthetta stock, which it was awesome. I have a couple problems uh, with the hammer and stuff like that, so I sent the rifle back. And I have a problems to get the rifle back home after that with the warranty, no with crawl just uh, with the seller. So I decided to tell him, hey, you know what? I want my money back and he gave me the money back, no problems at all. And what happened now? I said, well, it's time to give another chance, but let's do a couple improvements on this rifle to make it better. Uh, as you know already on this rifle, this rifle come with two magazines, uh, 12 shot rounds magazines. And guys, this is my rifle and I'm gonna keep it forever because it's doing it's doing great. Uh, one fill probe and single shot tray, and it's awesome, guys. This rifle is awesome. After you tune this rifle, after you work with the rifle, and I mean, it's for a price point. You have all the stuff that you want except a regulator, and it's talking that I'm gonna be about. I talk, I'm gonna be talking about it. Uh, first, thing you can find on this rifle there is why I get this rifle again is the power adjustment. I love the power adjustment on this rifle. It's super, super cool. If you can go on the yard and shoot on your yard, if your yard is small, it's a small yard, I'm sorry, I will say it. Uh, you turn down the power, you get pretty good groupings of 20 yards. If you get the lowest mode, uh, the mode, I mean, if you turn it down to the to the lowest pressure, uh, I would recommend don't go far than 20 yards if you have the medium uh, set up and if you turn the medium power you're gonna have uh, good shooting at 50 yards to 60 yards if you have high power on this rifle you turn it all the way up you're gonna have a 90 yards group good, good groupings. Uh, I have a groupings at 90 yards last week it was about this big, a hole of this big and 90 yards is awesome. But how that work? Well, guys, what I did with this rifle, I throw a couple things to help this rifle up. This rifle has everything that you need except a regulator. What I did, I put a regulator on it, I get a rubber lane regulator, and it came set up already for a rifle how I want to. The rubber lane regulator is awesome because it's come with instruction and they show you how to turn it, and it's easy to install. All you need to do is remove this tank, get it out, uh, and thread everything from the back. They recommend if you can take this part of the front part by the filling port, take it out, you can take it out, and then install everything. You will follow the instruction. Uh, it's a guy on YouTube who is awesome doing that, how he put the regulator on this, and that's how I did. I follow that guy, and. He was doing awesome. He showed you the right way to do it. Okay, I'm not gonna get in details about that. But after I put that regulator, man, this rifle changed a lot. Uh, when it came from the box, out of the box, it was doing pretty good. But however, after your vessel, the lot of your power started losing pressure, I'll say, everything started dropping down, and you start see your grouping moving and I'm gonna tell you this this rifle is really cheap I'm gonna call this for all the people uh, probably don't like it but it's kind of cheap uh, he like kind of cheap pellets like the crossman's hollow points as the ones that I've been using all the time with this rifle because he love them for somehow so what I have on the power and velocity on the low power I test uh, 670 feet per second average uh, the mid power is the one that I always use with this rifle I use uh, having 815 feet per second uh, giving me almost 60 shots with, uh, with uh, from 200 bars all the way down to almost let me check almost to 100 bars which is awesome guys I think this is awesome how that happened because the rubber lane regulator did a great job on this rifle and with the high power you have 990 feet per second average so guy that was doing pretty good problems with this rifle well 
out of the box first thing was the o-ring was broken of the reservoir so when this when where the tank meet with the with the hammer the the ones on the tank you're gonna see uh two uh o-rings so one of those was broken and i started soon that i started shooting i feel some air coming out from the sides and here i said where the air coming from so that was a problem and your feet per second was changing i was looking and something else i said no that's gonna be an o-ring again because i feel the air coming out but after all guys this is a pretty good uh, air rifle for the price now I have it in the wooden stock I hear some people call this one the MK2 I hear is a new version I don't know how to call it but it is different than the, the first very first version they have probably in the stock that's what I'm trying to say because the first stock I hear people say the wooden one was shorter and now this this wooden stock is longer in the back I don't know what is the big difference on it, but I will tell I will tell you it's different. And guys, it's pretty awesome. It's a heavy rifle, and I really like it. I really like it how it feels. It's heavy, but it feels pretty good. It feels pretty comfortable. And I have a center point. Uh, it's a three. It's a large, uh, twelve by forty-four, and it's doing great at ninety yards no further than that than that so guys I'm gonna show you now how that work the accuracy accuracy on this rifle so this is what I got after I cleaned the barrel so few shots here's like one two that was the first one one two three and then after everything started setting setting down I got this little hole right here where I again adjust my I adjust my scope to here and then the last of the last I have this hole right here that was awesome I thought that's awesome so I run a couple more shots out of it and I got this guys and this is unbelievable uh, let me show you what I get so right here I got a flyer right here I have a flyer I hope you guys can see it the flyers right here and in this hole, which is a smaller than a dime, I can't believe that, guys. This is a smaller than a dime. Hope you guys can see it. I have three full magazines at 25 yards. Guys, I'm amazed with this. And what else I can say about this rifle? It's awesome. Uh, for the price, it's pretty good. And hope you guys enjoy it. Right before I finish and wrap up with this video, I, re I remove the stuff that come with the barrel. It's not baffled, it. it's not, there's nothing inside there. So I order this human regulator, uh, I'm sorry, human uh, moderator, which is awesome, guys. It calms down this rifle pretty, pretty good. You see the difference on the high power, medium power, and the low power. So guys what else uh, that's probably it guys any questions any comments please comments I will say put all your questions if you like that video thumbs up okay guys thank you for watching all the time for those who are following me every day posting stuff or you guys are looking at my Instagram follow me on Instagram it has a, a affordable elg ergons review so guys I'm posting a daily stuff in there pictures information and guys you will love this okay so if you're true if you choose again something on the price point of five hundred and forty five dollars or five hundred and fifty dollars I will say guys this is a rifle if you're starting on this and on this world of PCP organs I bet this is the rifle for you okay so throw the regulator on it put a moderator on top and you're ready to go, okay? Keep shooting. Thank you.